1,000 New York policemen, under the eyes of Commissioner Mulroney himself, were on hand to greet Roosevelt when his train pulled in, bringing him home to prepare for his inauguration. They took no chance of further attempts on the life of the president-elect. As his car left the depot, it was flanked by a solid line of blue coats, a wall of human armor. Secret service men were active too, standing on the running board and swarming all around the car. Every man on guard as the party passed slowly through the crowd. Motorcycle police roared alongside the official car as the procession raced to the Roosevelt townhouse. 